Wow, we're already beginning off with one of these sins, eh? Okay then, we interrupt me, Toby, a casting call chosen once to bring you Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Character Reveal. Not once, not twice, not thrice, not four times, five times. Five sins. Dark Lord talking to himself in his castle before our heroes make their appearance. Okay, that mage is f***ing lazy. Did you see that yawn just then? Okay, that cleric staff is going right through his face. That... That looks painful. Steals only three of our heroes' faces rather than all four of them. Because, plot. I mean, if I was the Dark Lord, I'd steal all of them, so no one could fight back. Seems like the most obvious thing to do. Also, sparing the main protagonist. Trust me, it's a much bigger occurrence in the main game. We will get into that once I release the Everything Wrong With Me Topia remake video when the game comes out in late May. Oh no! I wish I could do that in the game. More Smash Brothers character reveals. Kind of. Spying. Spying again. And again. One more time. What a dick. I know it's a take on jealousy, but the cleric literally did nothing to deserve being knocked down in fucking mud. Also, the cat has no impact on this story, just spies and shrugs off his slash her friends fighting. So yeah, the cat has no impact on the story and is a fucking jerk. They are still in Greenhorn, not even close to the final showdown. What the f***? <laughs> Another few Smash Brothers character reveals. You probably should have expected this sin coming by now. The Arid Frontier is literally the next area of the map in the base game, so I doubt they traversed all that terrain just to find the princess's face. Wait, so the cat was forced to do Night Watch after tripping over a team member despite losing all control because of the imp? The team are a bunch of d that sword is going through the warrior's face. That... that also looks painful. 